Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how you can remove noise from your footage in DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com. All right, so we are in DaVinci Resolve right now. We are on the edit page. I have some footage in my timeline. It's a shot that is clearly underexposed that I've shot in Bali for a sunrise. I miss my exposure and we're gonna try to fix that right now. So we're gonna jump over the color page. And as you can see, there is quite a lot of noise in this footage. Um, I've bumped up the exposure because as you can see, I was clearly underexposed. Here there is a lot of information that I thought I lost in those shadow. I've tried to recover them, but obviously it's gonna introduce a lot of noise in my image. So we're gonna try to remove that by using the tool in the color page. You're just gonna jump over to the motion effect. That's where the tool for removing the noise is. Uh, we're gonna play with the temporal noise reduction and the special noise reduction. They both work hand in hand and I'm gonna show you how to use it right now to get from there, that is really noisy obviously, to there, that is less noisy, cleaner, and to me it's way more usable than the image that we had before. Obviously that's gonna be really resource intensive, as you can see there is a lot of drop frame at the moment so you want to keep that in mind while using it uh, the higher you're gonna use the setting the more taxing is gonna be on your system you're probably gonna not gonna be able to play it back so that's something that i suggest first off is to do it at the end let's say you could do your color grading you do whatever and you uh, tweak the noise reduction at the end when you've finished with the project i recommend you to deactivate the node if you want to continue to have a smooth playback um, so on mac that's going to be common d uh, and you will just basically deactivate the node and your playback going to be back to normal um, so yeah either use it at the end or deactivate it once it's done so you can play back smoothly i'm gonna reset right now the nodes so we can start fresh uh, so right now temporal noise reduction basically frame you have the choice from zero to five is the number of frame that is gonna analyze to apply the noise reduction. So zero being the lowest, five being the highest. Uh, if you want the best result, go with five. Most people go with three because it's a mid range um, to have something that you can still play back. Uh, me, I just prefer to crank up the setting to the maximum because I don't really care about the playback. I want the best uh, result. It's just a matter of preferences in you're gonna compromise. If you have a really good system and you want to have like the playback, you can just crank up everything. If you like me and you don't care, um, you do it at the end. You can put it to the maximum also, but if you want to be able to get playback, you probably want to choose something like three or two um, that is a bit lower. Me, I choose to go with five. Uh, faster, I will recommend you to always go on better, never faster, because your image is gonna look a bit moddier and a bit, it's, it's not gonna be pretty in my opinion. Uh, then motion rage, it's the amount of motion that is in your image. So if you have a lot of motion, uh, you're gonna go with large. If you don't have that much motion, you're gonna go with small. So on this specific shot, I think there's not that much. We're gonna go with medium. Uh, then the Luma, I will never go above 10. That's my personal opinion. The thing is that you have to keep in mind, the more noise you're gonna reduce, the softer Im your image gonna be. So you don't want your image to be too soft, otherwise it's just gonna look like garbage. Uh, it's gonna look super soft, no definition whatsoever, and really a natural kind of cartoonish type of look. So in my opinion, I never go above 10. Um, I can go up to 15 if like I really have to, and but I, I rarely go above 10. For this image, I will try to go with 10, I think, because there is definitely a lot to remove. Actually, 10 might be even a bit too much. I'm gonna go with seven, eight maybe, because I still want to have a tiny bit of grain into my image. You can obviously add grain after. For this kind of image, I think it's natural to have a tiny bit of nose, so I don't remove it fully, and I don't want to have an image that is too soft. Um, so that's pretty much it. Motion and blend, I never touch it. Then for special noise reduction, I usually go with better. In my opinion, always go with better rather than faster. You will get better results, obviously, as it's 10-4. Uh, radius, I will recommend you to go with large. Um, but again, if your system can't support it, 
maybe go just with small or medium. Uh, me, I prefer to go with large. And then for the Luma, uh, for the special threshold, I would never go above five. And again, that's my personal opinion. For this one, I'm just gonna be two, could do two because I've removed quite a lot over there and there is not that much uh, motion in my shot. So I will do maybe three maximum. And I think it's a good middle one. I like that. I'm fine with that. Then last tip that I usually do. Most of your nose appear in the shadows. And really often uh, you can have some bluish colors in your shadows. And um, that's also part of you know the nose that is introduced in the shadow that bring those colors. So what I like to do is just here. If you go to your curve, you're going to probably by default be on this curve. Go to the curve saturation uh, versus luma, luma versus saturation, and you're gonna click on this black dot down there, and we're gonna remove basically the saturation in the deep black. Um, it's you know it's a detail, but to me I think it's it's good to do it um, because it, it can remove that tiny bit of color that, that can be introduced on some shots. All right, guys, so this is how you remove noise from your footage in DaVinci Resolve to go from this. To this. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more content about DaVinci Resolve and see you in the next one. Bye! Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.